welcome my guardians to another destiny video and in today's destiny video we are going to be looking at my predictions for what Zer is bringing tomorrow with the man known as Mega Man not able to leak what Zer brings I now have an opportunity to put a real effort and thought into what I believe he will bring in prediction form so these are completely predictions there's no leaked information none of that stuff so I believe for the Warlock we will see the Starfire Protocol. Now the Starfire Protocol is from the dark below um, and it favours the Sunsinger subclass so you know it does extra fire stuff but we'll get into it. We got Fusion Rifle Ammo Increase, we have Heavy Weapon Ammo Increase and the actual perk Starfire Protocol for this of his apt aptly named for this piece of armor is gain an additional fusion grenade. Now this doesn't mean that you can use the Sunsinger perk and this chest piece to get three grenades. That is impossible. You can only get two. So the grenades are capped at two. That gives you more options with your class setup if you like using fusion grenades. This is very, very, very useful. And that will be 13 strange coins to you, good sirs. So on to the Titan. So with the Titan, I believe we will see a second dark below item and that is going to be the ruin wings um basically one of the coolest looking armors in the game in my opinion um and what they do is you get special weapon loader increases the reload speed of all special weapons impact induction causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown and the perk specific to this item is called seeds of ruin and heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammunition in each drop so while you're running around getting loads and loads of purple ammo for your Galahorn, you could be firing your Galahorn and you'll get more packs. And when you pick up the packs, you'll get more ammo from each one individually. Uh, very, very useful, especially in the raid if you like to get some purple ammo ready to go for Crota. So definitely a useful item and it's going to be 13 strange coins also. Now last in the armor section, we have the Lucky Raspberry for the Hunter. With this, it's obviously an exotic chest armor, but it is useful for the Blade Dancer subclass. So we're going to have Fusion Ammo increase the amount you can carry in terms of ammunition. Heavy, we heavy Weapon Ammo, the exact same, more ammunition you can carry. And the perk specific for this piece of armor is Improved Arc Bolt Grenade. And Arc Bolt, Arc Bolt, I can't talk today. Arc Bolt Grenade chains further and you spawn with grenade energy. So that means you can throw your grenades down and it will chain. So what Arc Bolt, what Arc Bolt does, if it hits one person, then when it hits that person, it will scan the area for another person. If someone's in range, that thing that hit them, the lightning bolt, will chain and hit someone else. This just makes it be able to go further through uh, loads of different people or reach further, I should say. Um, this is very, very useful for PvP in my opinion. Art Bolt is extremely overpowered in PvP. So I really like the idea of this and we will be getting that for 13 strange coins. Now for the weapon, I thought I would go a little bit out the box and go with the exotic machine gun called the Thunderlord. So the Thunderlord is very rare for a lot of people. I've only ever seen one of them drop for me. Um, I've never seen one since and I do want to get it and just level it up just to have it because I dismantled the last one. But anyway, with this, you get Feeding Frenzy. Kills with this weapon increase reload speed for a short time. You get a choice between Perfect Balance for extremely low recoil, which I believe you need with this weapon. There's Field Scout for maximum ammo capacity and Flared Magua for reload this weapon even faster. So all three of them perks are very useful depending on your play style specifically. Um, I personally would go with Perfect Balance. And then the perk for this weapon and why it is so beast, this weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held and that is called lightning rounds. Um, definitely a badass looking weapon, badass sounding weapon, um, it just is a good weapon all round. I wish I'd kept mine because I didn't realise how good it was back then but it's actually pretty decent. Um, so yeah, that is what I believe Zoe will be bringing in terms of a weapon. So, now, for the miscellaneous items, I believe we will see a gauntlet, gauntlet engram, and there won't be any heavy ammo. Boo-hoo. So those are my predictions that I'm making for tomorrow, guys. Let me know what you think about my predictions. Out of my predictions, what would you want to come? If nothing is in my predictions for you, Leave your predictions on what you think Zer will be bringing or what you want him to bring. Hit that comment section hard, guys. Hit that like button even harder. 
subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video